Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans out there. How are you today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing today in my room, today I want to talk to you about my battery backup system and why I also added fuses uh, for safety uh, for it as well. It's basically this heavy based right here and basically I wanted to kind of explain on why you need the safety uh, with this device uh, should I say by the way this is all DC and by the way I do have a 12 volt uh, battery in here sealed lead acid battery and it's 26 uh, milliamps as well but it's a couple of things I need to explain to all of you. If you decide to make something like this, you have to put fuses on all your different circuits you decide to put on this uh, wonderful device, uh, should I say. And yes, it can also power uh, multiple things as well, but again, you do have to be careful what you can power with this unit. All right, let's show you what I'm talking about. Here is my homemade battery backup system I made and designed to power different devices and also charge different devices as well, like cameras, camcorders, uh, cell phones, tablets, and all sorts of own interesting stuff I can power with this unit as well. You're going to need an inverter if you want to power AC like a lamp or a desktop. It all pretends on this unit itself. But let's go ahead and show you the front of this unit, uh, basically. Okay, I have an LED strip light halfway around the box. If you can kind of see, there is the 12 volt cigarette outlets. I have three of those right here. Okay, here is the two USBs for small uh, five volt devices. Of course, a voltage meter. And on this side, you can kind of see here is the wire going to the LED, and that's on a separate switch. That works. That gives me light as well. Okay, now if I turn the master switch on. Okay, this turns everything on top, but doesn't turn the LEDs on, uh, should I say. And all the way around this side is the master switch, the charging port with its own uh, switch. And this cigarette outlet here is hot all the time uh, from the battery, uh, basically. Now. I'm going to pop this cover off and show you what the inside of it looks like as well. If you don't quite understand on how this system works, I'm going to basically explain the best I can about this system and why I chose the different fuses for the different applications for different circuits on this battery backup system. But let's go ahead and talk about the battery, uh, should I say. Here is the 12 volt sealed lead acid battery, uh, 26 milliamp of capacity. If you can kind of see, I have my two uh, wires right here. I have my positive cable. I have my negative side of the cable. And as you kind of see here is basically the um, uh, studs, uh, should I say. And they're basically uh, spaced apart very evenly for I don't have anything uh, touching, uh, should I say. Now if you're curious on what this red fuse is, that's a 10 amp fuse. That goes to the charging port of the circuit right here, basically. Okay, yes, like that. Now, if you're curious on the little 20 amp fuse, that goes to this cigarette outlet here. It's hot all the time. If you're curious on what this green fuse is, that is my master 30 amp fuse going to the 30 amp switch right down there. 
And here is basically my charging uh, circuit and a 10 amp switch on the outside. And basically here is what it looks like right there. And here is basically my grounding uh, block, uh, should I say, or bus ball. Uh, basically, basically helps to ground everything. And here is basically my fuse block. And it also has uh, different fuses, uh, 15 amps that are also uh, blue as well, uh, should I say. Very nice system. Forgot to mention on what type of wire gauge I used on this uh, battery backup system, uh, should I say. Even if the fuses do die, I can go down to my local AutoZone or local auto park store and basically get some new fuses for this battery backup system. But let's go ahead and show you the charging as well. Here what I use is just a household uh, charger right here. You just plug it into the wall and you plug this into the side of the box right over here by flipping that switch on. And here is basically the inverter DC to AC and here is the wiring uh, basically this is 10 gauge wiring right here uh, this wire here is 16 gauge that's the reason why it uses a 10 amp fuse and I'm using a 30 amp fuse for 10 gauge and a 20 amp uh, fuse for this uh, cigarette outlet and by the way this cigarette outlet is also uh, 10 gauge as well and basically going to the smaller side right here is I have 14 gauge wiring uh, for the smaller uh, circuits on this unit. And basically uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. And right over here if any of these fuses do die I can basically pop one out and replace it. You can see there is a blown fuse. Now luckily this cover has two spots you can put two extra spare fuses and that's very nice uh, for this unit now of course uh, this fuse is still good not bad but demonstrating it to look like it's a bad fuse okay now right then uh, need to charge batteries yay the idea of having fuses is to protect your circuits, like your USB uh, circuits, your cigarette outlet circuits, uh, basically, and also the wiring on this big giant battery backup system I made not too long ago. And yes, and the wiring is correct uh, on this. I'm using 10 gauge and I'm also using 14 gauge for the small uh, circuits as well. But basically the idea of having a master fuse, in case if you pull too much power and the master can also basically pop and uh, die uh, like it normally does, uh, should I say. Now, okay, you can kind of see right here, here is the green master fuse, okay. And you can see here's my battery and my switch is right there. Now this is a 30 amp switch. This also turns everything on over here by this fuse lock and yes here's the three cigarette outlets right here two USBs and a voltage meter now if I turn that switch off and I pop out the 30 amp fuse uh, should I say this is the master fuse okay this circuit will completely be dead okay let's see got no power the reason why is I took out the master fuse to kind of show you why it's a good idea to have fuses on this system. Now, each of these have their own separate fuses. They're all 15 amp fuses, okay, basically. Like this cigarette outlet, this one, this one, and these uh, USBs. And basically everything is uh, pretty good uh, with this unit. And that's why I have a 20 amp fuse for this cigarette outlet and a 10 amp fuse for this charging circuit. It's just to give it some protection, uh, should I say. Now the power sign with this battery bank I have made, uh, should I say, you're going to need a inverter from DC to AC uh, should I say and yes this whole system is 12 volts and it's a pretty 
good stable system and it looks fantastic uh, should I say okay there's my circuits of course there's the battle you know thing down below and here's the inverter right here again this cigar outlet here is hot all the time and you can see there's the inverter lights right there it's green and this is AC powering my overhead light uh, should I say with the LED uh, lights as well now you can also add a switch to this if you choose but I don't want to add a switch to it because I want to keep it hot all the time now if you go over 20 amps of this fuse this will also pop and you won't get any power to this cigarette outlet you only fuse the positive side not the negative side of your battery uh, should I say now if you want to wire a switch you gotta make sure you fuse the switch from the battery to the switch right back there and that's just basically master 30 amps uh, for this whole uh, contraption on top uh, basically and it's a very good system but there you go, there's how I explained it the best I can about this battery bank. Alrighty then, it's the best thing I can do for all my fans is to explain about the design and the fuses and everything else uh, in this uh, system, uh, should I say. But don't be terminated by the wiring, the wiring looks a lot cleaner and that's also awesome. And the reason why you need fuses is to protect circuits, uh, should I say, of what you decide to basically plug into this device, uh, should I say. Now it also depends on the type of wiring you use, uh, the type of gauge of wire, uh, should I say. I'm using 10 gauge wiring uh, for the main power and 14 gauge for the small uh, circuits on top of the lid uh, basically. Now the ideal of having a master fuse like this 30 amp fuse right here is basically to protect the circuits here protect the battery and also protect the switch as well uh, from overload and overshorting anything on the system uh, should I say but the reason why I built it is to power different things like maybe a AC style stereo with the inverter or the old e-machine now of course it's not going to power a lot of stuff but it can if you get the proper inverter uh, for this uh, system. Now, the reason why I chose a sealed load of acid battery instead of a flooded battery is because I didn't want to deal with the liquids splashing all over the place uh, inside this battery box, uh, basically. And the way I designed it with the circuits on top is that makes it look a little bit better as well. Now can I add own things to it like a solar panel and solar charge control? I could do that as well uh, for this system. And it works perfectly fine. And I like it a whole lot. Hey, if you guys and girls are brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. I'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Bye for now and be safe when you build something like this.